Hi everybody, welcome to the Spectator Sportscast. Ella Schultz here with Nick Scott and Brian Barber. Brian decided to come back uh, after last week's hiatus. Mm, nice of you to join us, Paul. Yeah, thought you guys missed me a little, had to come back. <laughs> we, we definitely did a little bit. Um, no Henning today, sorry, but uh, we got Brian stepping up. Um, a little shoes. bit, a little bit less attractive, but I guess he'll do. <laughs> <laughs> got some big shoes to fill, but you know. I'll try, I'll, I'll see what I can bring to the table yeah. today. Um, so another mixed bag of a weekend uh, for Columbia Athletics. A um, couple of disappointing losses, a good good win here and there, but um, definitely a lot of disappointments. Um, football fell to Penn, 24 to 20. Um, that was a, a close game all the way through. Um, Columbia played really, really well in the first half, especially defensively, um, and entered the break up 6-3. They actually they only allowed three first downs in the entire half, which kind of gives you an idea of how stifling the, the Lions' defense was, but. Um, uh, the, the Quakers finally broke through at the start of the third. Um, they drove up the field on the first drive in the second half um, and got a touchdown there. But the Lions quickly struck back with a pair of touchdowns um, and had a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter, but unfortunately not able to hold on. Um, the Quakers scored twice. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was a, a tough loss. Um, Nick, uh, soccer? Yeah, so soccer, the men played Saturday night, uh, 4 o'clock, followed by the, the women, a doubleheader versus Princeton. Um, we came away with a 0 0 tie. Um, it was kind of a physical game back and forth. Um, some tackles going in, uh, some guys coming off with knocks, but we'll be looking to regroup and, um, and get back there for. Get back there next weekend. Um, for all the concerned ladies out there, is Henning okay? Henning's fine. Henning's <laughs> fine. Um, he's he's fit and healthy, so he's in good shape. Um, the women played afterwards. They lost two one to to Princeton. Um, tough for them as they had such a good start to the Ivy League, but they're still in a good position, and uh, they'll be looking to to get get back at it next weekend as well. Um, Next weekend we're playing against Dartmouth in our homecoming game at uh, 7 o'clock so if you're out for the, uh, the football homecoming earlier that day feel free to, to stay a little and catch some soccer afterwards. Do you have a little bit of an idea of what the Ivy picture is looking like in general in, in soccer? Um, well at the moment Cornell's the only undefeated team, they're mm -hmm. 3-0 right now and they're actually 12-0 in the season um, so they're having a very good year, it's going to be difficult to beat I think. Um, but Still, I think it's all to play for. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say we've just got just as much of a shout as anyone else, really. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we keep winning games, um, we should be there or thereabouts last game of the season. So we're still positive, trying to look at it positive and, and get going again and, and see what we can do. So moving on to field hockey. Um, they had a nice 3-2 double overtime win against Penn. Um, Followed by Sunday night, a uh, 1-0 loss to Drexel, who are actually nationally ranked 15th. 15th, um, is that right? 15th in the nation, yeah. So, tough loss for them, but I think it's nothing to be to be too ashamed of. They put in a good performance, and they'll be looking looking to get back at it uh, in practice this week. And of course, it's good to get the Ivy win always, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. More important. Um, going on to volleyball, um, Friday night, we had a 3-1 victory versus Dartmouth. And then uh, we had a tough loss um, in three sets to Harvard. Um, still kind of keeps us in the race for volleyball, but makes our chances a little bit harder to win the league. Um, but we'll see where we can go from here going to two games next weekend. And then the big news of the weekend was uh, men's cross country, who had a very strong performance at the Wisconsin Invitational and actually beat um, 14 ranked opponents, number one in the nation. Um, Wisconsin, number five Portland, number ten Syracuse, and number eleven Princeton. So it's always good to beat the number one team and always. to beat Princeton as well. And uh, their coach was said it was the best cross country performance in uh, the history of Columbia. So that kind of puts them up there, and I think they'll move into the top ten in um, the cross country rankings, which is you know huge for their program and huge for Columbia athletics as well. Always good to see a program performing that well um, on the national stage. Um, so definitely, uh, other than the cross-country thing, though, uh, a lot of ups and downs for Columbia this weekend. Uh, but there's a big weekend coming up next weekend, including the homecoming game against Dartmouth. Um, and also, this past, uh, was it Friday, basketball started out? Friday was official midnight madness for basketball, so we had a... Uh we had a long weekend of practice, and it's good to be officially back out on the courts. 
and uh, you know we're projected to have a good year, but you know projections only do so much. So uh, you know we're putting in a lot of good work right now, and hopefully it starts to pay off, and you know it'll be be a big year for basketball. What are you guys ranked in the, the preseason polls? Preseason, I think they had us around third. Um, so, but the top, you know, top half of the Ivy League is a toss up with mm-hmm. Harvard Liz and some guys, and uh, Princeton bringing some guys back, but also had a couple graduates. So, I mean, it's a very positive thing for us. You know, we haven't been in the top half of the Ivy League in a while, and I think this could be one of our better years to uh, give it a shot and, you know, go for that Ivy League championship. So a lot of stuff to look forward to next week and in the, the upcoming weeks. Um, so be sure to uh, keep watching. Um, and as always, feel free to leave a comment. Hit us up on Twitter at CU uh, Spec, at Spec Sports, sorry. Um, and uh, email us, or email us at podcast at ColumbiaSpectator.com. So uh, for Nick Scott and Brian Barr with Sailor Schultz, say so long. <laughs>